Welcome to Fairy the Greyhound. In this video, you're going to see us at Greyfest, which is a big greyhound festival and dog show. And we've got some very exciting news. We have started up our own business called Beautiful Hound. Our Shopify website, beautifulhound.co.uk, is now up and running and live if you'd like to have a look. We specialise in sight hound escape proof harnesses but these also fit medium and large dogs really well. And in this video, you'll see us selling them on our stand at the Greyfest Festival. Greyfest is a two day show which happens every year and it's a camping event. This year it was held in a beautiful, um, the gardens of a stately home and there were lots of people camping there hundreds and hundreds of greyhounds, whippets, lurchers, as well as lots of normal dog breeds. And there were two dog shows running on both days, a hound show ring and a other dog breeds show ring. They had lots of trade stands and stalls. We arrived on the Friday night and set up our marquee and behind our little stand we had our camper van which we slept in for the weekend you can see here our setup we've got a gazebo nice printed tablecloth and flag fairies here relaxing in the shade of the gazebo it was quite a warm weekend and this is where we camped in our little van behind our stand Everybody was so kind, friendly and helpful at this show. We met lots of lovely people with their dogs. It was a really fun weekend and Fairy enjoyed it. And my daughter did lots of the showing classes with her. And you'll find out how she did later in the video. You can see Fairy here wearing one of our harnesses. This is the pink flamingo print harness. It's a totally escape proof harness. Three point three straps so that it can't be pulled off over the head and it's got a nice wide chest piece for comfort very narrow between the front legs fully adjustable with reflective piping two points of lead attachment on the front chest and on the back um, it has two handles on the harness for control and maneuverability and the lead has a short traffic handle, as you can see here, if you need to gather your dog up short when walking on the pavements. But it is a nice long lead, 1.5 metres long. And it proved to be very popular amongst the customers at Greyfest. And we did really well. In between the showing classes, Fairy either slept in our gazebo or climbed into the back of the van, which is her favourite place to snooze, in front of her fans, so she stayed nice and cool. And here she is modelling our zebra stripes set. You can see that the lead features a double-ended splitter strap, so that you can have different points of attachment. If you use a double-ended lead and want to attach your lead to the collar and the harness, or to both the chest and back attachments on the harness, you can do so for extra control. All the clips on our harness are um, locking safety buckles so that they don't pop open. You can see there are our three color choices at the moment and they all come complete with a poo bag holder, which clips onto your lead, a harness, a collar, a splitter strap, a lead and a poo bag holder and here is fairy attempting the agility class best and worst agility at the show we'd forgotten to do the back strap up on her harness and it was flapping about in this attempt which put her off a little bit but there were lots of dogs that um, did worse than her and here's a few of them
fairy made lots of friends at Greyfest. She enjoyed sniffing all the other dogs. She had her dinner in the van as usual, in the luxury of eating in bed. Here she has got chicken and rabbit pate mixed with her kibble, because we all know what a fussy girl she is. After her dinner, we had a lovely walk around the grounds. This is Mount Ephraim House, and it's where the show was held this year. And it had some beautiful gardens. Here's Fairy having a wee on the garden. And then she spots a squirrel. She can see her ears have pricked up. And there's a squirrel running over there in the distance. Luckily, she's wearing her escape proof harness. So she's nice and secure, even when she's jumping about and pulling like this. The gardens were beautiful. You can see the hedges, the walls, those big pillars and posts everywhere. It was very um, sort of posh and a lovely place to walk. The dogs, all the greyhound owners were walking their dogs around the gardens. Our beautiful hound harnesses are very well fitting. They don't slip like most other harnesses I've tried. I think this is because of my unique design. I designed the shape um, and fit of the harness myself. I also designed all the patterns of the fabrics myself and had them printed. Um, it's totally my design. Very padded so that it doesn't rub. It's made specially um, so that the belly strap is further back behind the elbows so that doesn't rub as greyhounds have very delicate skin and um, it's very secure like I said no slipping side to side like the usual harnesses do and it can't be pulled over the head if your dog stops and tries to back up because of the third strap around the narrowest part of the body. There were some lovely ponds, bridges over the little streams and things. And then we found a big lake with some ducks on it, which very much interested Fairy. There were lots of flowers and actually a flower maze which you could twist in and out of in one part of the gardens. There were lots of bees that we saw on the flowers. Lots of wildlife and nature on this walk. There's the ducks. No, leave the ducks Fairy alone. Fairy would jump in after them if she wasn't on her harness. No, Fairy. In this area here of large tall plants is the flower maze. Lots of different varieties of flowers and a path twisting in and out.
там. You can see a van just up there and a tent. You could pitch anywhere you wanted, right up close to the trees. It was a stunning location. And after our walk, Fairy again was exhausted. So she went into the van for a snooze and then she had a bedtime story to send her to sleep. Star space, floss! Everyone turned around and to fly Freya's twin sister and she shrugged. What? We woke up nice and early, ready for day two of Greyfest. You can see here we're pitched beside the retired greyhounds of Canterbury who rehome all the racing dogs. So we got up, Fairy had her breakfast again, chicken and rabbit pate. And we set all of our stall back up again and it wasn't long before we had some customers. And here we've got two greyhounds which tried on our blue and our pink sets. Fairy won some rabbit ears when she was in the showing rings so she had lots of snacks during the day and we visited Ted's Tasties which was a stand with natural dog treats which we bought for Fairy. Here we've got a Labrador which bought one of our harnesses it's a great fit on any kind of medium or large breed of dog and everybody that we met was really pleased with the fit and the quality. Fairy and Sophie won a showing class and their prize was um, some photographs taken by the pet portrait stand. So Fairy and my daughter modelled um, and posed for some photos which we'll show you. This is Fairy's goodie bag that she won and she got a medal too. And she won the class called Most Overlooked Dog at Dog Shows because yesterday she did six classes and didn't get a single rosette. So today she entered that class and got first place, which my daughter was really pleased about. And here she is being very, very lazy, eating her rabbit's ear, laying down because she couldn't be bothered to stand up and eat it. As we were wandering around the trade stands, we found the Pet Owners First Aid Stand, Animal First Aid Courses and Supplies, and they were running courses at the show for Doggy First Aid, which I think would be very useful to do. I didn't have time to do it at this event as I was too busy selling my harnesses, but this is something I'd like to do in the future so that I know what to do in case of an emergency if Fairy gets ill or any other dogs need help. It was a warm weekend, so we took precautions to keep Fairy cool. She was offered lots of drinks. She was frequently sprayed with our garden spray bottle to keep her nice and cool. And she laid down and rested in between the classes in the shade. Greyhounds are at risk of heat stroke at much lower temperatures than other breeds of dog because they don't have the insulation. Um, they are very fine coated and no body fat, which um, not only makes them colder in cold weather, but overheats them in hot weather too. And here is Fairy participating in the best in show because she was a winner. She actually didn't get... Um, didn't receive the best or the reserve best in show but we were really pleased with her anyway we had a fantastic weekend and we're looking forward to having stalls at some more dog shows this summer as well as selling our products online through Facebook and Instagram we have a Facebook page um, an Instagram page and a Shopify secure payment website if you want to take a look and if you're a dog owner looking for a nice show to go to, Greyfest was an amazing event which is held yearly and you can find their page on Facebook. I'd highly recommend it. And here are our details on our business card for those of you
dog owners who are looking for a nice escape proof harness. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all our subscribers. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please click the subscribe button and turn on your notifications and we'll be back again soon.